In this video I will show you how you can create paint splash effect using Photoshop. Hey what's up guys Drool here and in this tutorial I will use this image and this paint splash. This is actually a PSD file as you can see it is already cut you don't have to cut it. So this is from daventa.com both things and if you want to download them the download link is in description so feel free to use it. Now we need to take this paint splash into the model uh, image so go here select this layer 1 press ctrl A ctrl C then go back here and then press ctrl V so it is already here. Now you have to press ctrl T and sorry for my voice I am having a little bit of cold so let's make it smaller and when you make it small hold your shift key down and you can rotate it from here uh, if you hold your shift key uh, it doesn't lose its proportion so that's really important so i'm gonna make it bigger and make sure that, like it roughly covers its face don't worry about this area i don't need it you can use it uh, if you want uh, there's nothing compulsory so I'm gonna rotate it even bit more okay that seems uh, kind of fine to me okay awesome now to confirm it you can click here or you can press enter both things do the same so this is ready now shut this for a while now select this and double click hit ok so this way you have unlocked this thing now again turn it on and apply a layer mask from here now uh, when you paint with black color in your layer mask as you can see uh, in, and make sure you have selected the mask not the image mask so now when you paint with black color it will remove it and if you paint with white color it will bring it back so we need to remove it we only need the edge uh, not the full detail so let's uh, start painting it and take your time and right click and let's make sure make sure the hardness is around 50% uh, so it will give you even better output. So let's paint it here like this uh, I'm gonna fast forward this part so we can save some time Now uh, Like as you can see it is almost ready and for this just remove it completely We do not need it anyway, so just completely remove it. Let's make it bigger and Let's remove this thing like this and like this and if you want to know how am I changing my brush size it's the bigger bracket keys like near your enter key so use that it saves some time so uh, the basic thingy is ready now select this uh, your image from here then go to image uh, adjustment and go to desaturate so it will remove all the color now go to your blending options and change the blending mode to luminosity so as you can see it has started blending but not very good so to do like to make it proper make sure you have selected this thing go to image adjustment and go to levels now in the levels you can adjust the highlight and the strength of this thing so i'm gonna punch it a bit and then change it even bit more here uh, keep doing it until it looks perfectly fine to you so let's make it a bit of here and there and uh, uh, that kind of matches with the skin tone and take your time this thing like does not work really quickly if you like force it so that looks really nice now hit ok so as you can see like the basic output is almost ready now we need to make this other portion black and white so to do that uh, go here and select your where is it black and white and make sure it is in between you can shift it like this so make sure it is down here in between then uh, select this thing and grab your paint bucket tool and fill in the black color everything is hidden the black color is still there you just cannot see it so now to bring back like this is the mask so now we have to paint with white color so select your brush tool and if you paint with this uh, with this thing uh, with white color let's go here and make this white and then when you paint with it it is black and white so start painting and uh, until you get it done properly and to save some time control click on this thing here so you already have a selection but unfortunately it's inside so go to filter 
sorry, uh, into select and inverse this thing. So as you can see now the outside area is selected. So all you have to do is just start painting quickly and it will save your time a lot. So let's paint it here, here, here and like this. And if you want to bring it back, just paint with black color so it will bring it back. And so that seems perfect to me and good. Now press Ctrl D. Here we have a bit of a problem so let's Ctrl click here and paint it back. Good. So that seems perfect. Now as you can see the effect is looking really beautiful but we need some shadow to give it depth. So for that uh, double click on this layer as you can see the paint layer and then in the paint options select drop shadow and in the drop shadow let's put it here like this you can move it any way you want so let's uh, move it here you can use your arrow key no you cannot sorry <laughs> it doesn't work so that seems fine to me and you can spread it a little bit so you have slightly softer shadow sorry uh, increase the size my mistake uh, increase the size a little so you have soft shadow that seems fine hit ok now if you look uh, we have this shadow on the both side uh, which is not very useful so to do, uh, get rid of that uh, make a duplicate of this thing press ctrl j put it on here uh, apply a layer mask and you know when you hold your alt key while applying a layer mask uh, it already applies a black layer mask so you don't have to do a whole process now go to your brush tool and get a white color and then start painting here uh, oops uh, right click and let's make it 0% hard and then start painting here uh, like this oops my mistake again select your layer mask make sure it is always the layer mask and then start painting here until you get rid of the shadow and it also blends the what say color splash beautifully so basically if you want to see we are just painting in the uh, skin here it's nothing very complicated uh, the white color is revealing the area and if you make a mistake you can always paint with black color so that is always handy so let's paint here here and here uh, like this uh, it might take some time but uh, the final effect is worth it so that's also very useful so let's do it like this and also you can remove a bit from here like that so that seems uh, actually really perfect okay a little bit from here perfect uh, now as you can see uh, it really looks like the paint is covering her face everything is almost ready now just uh, we just need to make this plasticky so go here and create a new blank layer and now press ctrl alter shift and e so now as you can see it has created a jpg inside the document uh, that is useful now go to filter and go to your filter gallery in the filter gallery let's zoom out uh, you have to just focus on this skin area nowhere else so in the skin area uh, make sure like you adjust the things uh, as you like it doesn't have to be the exact number that I use just make sure like it looks proper and let's adjust the smoothness a bit uh, that is awesome okay that can be better and just make sure it is not too much like you know, that you cannot even see her face something like this not cool uh, this is perfect so that actually looks really good and hit ok now as you can see it looks fine but we do not need this on this black and white part so to get rid of that uh, obviously apply a layer mask then control click on this splash thingy and then go to fill uh, sorry select and inverse it go to your brush and let's select the black color make the brush bigger uh, and then remove it from the here like this and uh, also a bit from her hair if you like uh, it's totally your personal choice however you want to make it so i think without like plastic on this portion looks better so that is good and if you want to get rid of the selection the key is ctrl d or you can go to select and go to deselect and you are out of the selection so that's it and now the final step go here and select levels 
and in the levels uh, let's make it a bit fr darker from here and a bit brighter from here so that will add the contrast uh, the one you are looking for and that is good and it also makes this uh, shadow really useful so if I turn it on and off uh, you can see the difference so let's zoom in and this is the original file and this is the uh, paint splash effect so that's it for this video and I really hope you learned something if you did hit that like button and comment something it helps my video a lot now if you want to learn how you can turn someone's photo into painting click the box on the left or if you want to learn how you can make someone's face just using text click the box on the right you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get an update and also you can go to my channel where I have more than 50 free Photoshop tutorials so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop